inaugural Sugar Stove Van Cast live from a rental van. <laughs> live from a rental van outside of Casper, Wyoming, where our dear Rosalita is being laid to her final rest. Yes, she's being turned into glue. She's been sent to the glue factory, or is being sent shortly, because she was killed by a prairie dog somewhere in Wyoming. I don't remember the name of that town. I was cruising into some little town in the middle of Wyoming at like 7,000 feet somewhere and there was a prairie dog stuck his head up in the middle of the damn road. I swerved to miss him and of course swerving at 75 miles an hour, which is speed limit in Wyoming, is not such a good idea and it basically tore the, the, pass, the driver's side rear axle out of its casing which then melded to the bearing which then melded to the hub which now is pretty much more expensive to fix than our dear Rosalita cost so us to buy. We would like to thank Mallory. Yes, Mallory. Um from Backwards Distilling who came to pick us up on the highway in the middle of nowhere so that we could make our gig. That's right. She got us into town into Mills, Wyoming to play the gig on Friday night, so we didn't miss that show because they came and picked us up. Sarah then went went and got a rental car at Enterprise in Casper. Dodge Grand Caravan. Which has air conditioning. It's it's quite a nice car actually. I don't know what year it is, but it looks uh, pretty new. It looks pretty new. How and many it, miles does it have in it? Twenty seven thousand miles. It's red. Maroon. And uh, it's maroon. got a nice stereo. Um, the seats all fold down into the bottom, so if we got a car like this, which we're actually going to, we're on our way to look at a couple in Denver, um, we could put the seats down, put our bed in, and if we wanted to take, oh, I don't know, say James Aboot on tour with well, us. Well, let's say James Aboot, shall we? Yes. Let's say James Aboot again. Let's say Jam James, James Aboot. Aboot. <laughs> um, we could, we would have seats, so we could actually legally drive other people, which is really kind of great, so I'm, I'm angling for a Dodge Caravan. Charlie doesn't have as much faith in American cars, but really we'll just see what, what yeah. happens. Yeah. So we're on our way from Casper. We looked at every car dealership in Casper. And we drove the super shitty Aerostar. Oh my god. <laughs> that thing was horrible. Like a it 19, looked... what was it, 1987 or something? No, 80, was it an 86? 89? 86, I think, or 96 or something, I don't know. It was, it was like falling apart almost in our hands and we drove it for about four blocks and like it was just like lights were coming on and off on the dashboard and like it was just not... Not a spot of rust though, no rust. Yeah, right, at first it looked great and then we drove it and it was like, hell, hell no, we might as well Big. drive, we might as well drive Rosalia on three wheels. <laughs> Big globs of, globs of grease coming out of the rear differential. Yeah, we'll just all, we'll just all, we'll all lean to one side so that we don't put any weight on that one missing wheel. Anyways, yeah, so now we're driving in our unlimited miles Enterprise Dodge Caravan rental. Oh. Also, fun fact, trust us to need a fucking rental car during, like, during Eclipse tour season. Oh, right. Everything is twice as expensive because, because, every, the because the entire country is flocking to Wyoming. The only time the country would ever Fly, be flocking to Wyoming. Wyoming. The Eclipse runs right dead center over Casper, Wyoming, which is where we are oh, today, man. or where we just left. So everything, motels are like a grand a night. Yeah. Uh, cars are like just super expensive. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. They've got they've got RV rental spots, a hundred dollars a night, out in the middle of just like some guy's field. You yeah, know? people are renting out like their backyard for yeah, like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Come and watch a night. the eclipse. Come and watch the eclipse below the deer. Oh, so we went up in our rental van with air conditioning, Ooh. and we went up. And we played the No Woodstock Festival up in Ten Sleep, Wyoming, oh, and really, it was fantastic. Who knew Wyoming had so many great musicians? Oh, it was I just... I mean, just one band after another. The guy who booked it, Pat, has this ear for, like, folk slash jazz, so everything was, like, kind of folky, kind of bluesy, kind of jazzy, and just some of the, just, there was a swing band, there was a big blues band, there was a... There's uh, a there show was bluegrass. band. I mean, it was just, and then there was us. I mean, it was just like everyone was fantastic. And it was perfectly like just the way the flow of the of the day. Like he started off with a 
a solo cowboy singer singing local, you know, songs that he'd written, you know, kind of cowboy rodeo well, about songs. about 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 trucks, horses, and hippie girls on horses. That's what he said. I love it. <laughs> and he actually had ridden rodeo for a while. It had gotten him through college, and he wasn't wasn't an old guy. He was younger than. Well, younger than me, probably older than you. I mean, you do what you got to do to get through to get through college. I mean, some people strip, some people do rodeos. Some people do rodeos, yeah. And and then you know they had us, or uh, and there was a a band out of I thought they said they came up from Fort Collins, but they're out of Jackson. Oh, the symbols! I'm currently wearing oh, their underwear. Yeah, the symbols were selling uh, G-string underwear. Which uh, Sarah immediately had to buy two. Actually, they're thongs. They're not G-strings, but uh, they are incredibly comfortable. No, I bought two. I bought one for me and one for you. Oh, excellent! I was wondering, you know, when I would get to wear mine. So I'm looking forward to that. Quite looking forward to that. But they were fun. They were. What did they say? They, they were, were like a rock trio spiritual, of spiritual porn, porn rock. rock. <laughs> and uh, yeah, their shirts were great. And and I said, Sarah, spiritual porn rock. She goes, Well, I like all three of those things. So I'm probably gonna like this band. They were super they fun. Were they were super um, fun. They did a they did a, a manic depression by Jimi Hendrix. They mashed that up with my favorite things from Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins. and it was awesome. It was great. It was so good, and uh, it had a female lead vocalist on bass who wore shoes that oh like god, just like these awesome shoes. like pink lace up pumps. Oh my god, they were just and and she was super, styling. Yeah, she was totally styling. Super colorful. Like uh, fishnet stockings, yeah. Leggings, so if you ever and, want a good time in Fort Collins, Colorado, look up the symbols. Yeah, and the, uh, I don't remember the guy's name on on guitar, but um, at one point he goes, "Well, it's pretty early in the day for soul, but I'm going to try and go for it." And proceeded to do an instrumental off of Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow album that blew my mind. It was so good. So yeah, he's like he knew all the feedback techniques mm. of all the masters. It, they they did they opened up with um, with a Led Zeppelin tune. What's the one? Down oh, on the land of the yes. immigrant yeah, immigrant song. song. They started off with that and then proceeded to play Hendrix, you know, mashups with Mary Poppins and Jeff Beck. It was it was yeah, awesome. Super solid rock trio. Um, who else? Oh, Bl Blind Dog Slim. Is that what they were called? Something I think they like were that? just called Blind Dog. Blind Dog was this like show band. I think they're I out of LA. Later on Saturday night, yeah. And they, the the the, the guitar player's name is Chalo, and he knew Sarvin and Manny from Hi, group Sarvin session. Hi, Sarvin and Manny. Hello, Sarvin and, and Manny. And Manny. And, and Ronnie's kid. All of Ronnie's kids. <laughs> all of Ronnie's kids. <laughs> Woohoo! And wife and everybody. He could start his own family band. Yeah, well, there you go. He's got he's got a he's got a farm team now. <laughs> he's got an entire farm team. He can fill all the bases. Um, so and then there were there were a bunch of people who came up from Jackson and they would intersperse into each other's bands well, yeah, the, the whole time. Uh, the Jackson Six was the swing band. And then by the and end they of the were time, super fun. by the time they were done playing, there were the Jackson Twelve. Yeah, there right. was like <laughs> horn players everywhere, and they were all fantastic. Oh, Chan Man Roots Band, oh. Reggae Jam Band. Oh yeah. Oh, they were just... And that was the same group of people, but with... The, a lot the, of the same people. Yeah, yeah. Had the, the, the drummer was playing in both of those, for sure. And the lead trombone player was playing in both of those. And I want to shout out that um, our friend Bob had the best sound. He ran the best sound we've ever heard at any festival. At, a, at any festival. It was perfect. You could stand right in front of the... You could hear it throughout the whole park, but you could stand right next to the speakers. You could stand was, in front you, of the speakers. Yeah, you could stand right next to them, and it was, it was not... It was not over, like, it wasn't painful. He had these big stacks, and uh, he had the subs actually pointed towards the stage. So they were all sort of like wedge wedge speakers. I think they were like QSC or, I don't know, they were something else. But they were big speakers, and he had like six on each side. And the subs were wedged in between the main speakers, but pointing in the opposite direction. It was like yeah, brilliant. So you got you got like the thump without the volume. Yeah, and it was just perfect sound. You could walk right in front of the speakers, and it didn't hurt my ears, and my ears ring. So like I'm super, super aware of that kind of thing. His sound was amazing. It was great. Yeah. So we had we had a fantastic time. We drove back. Jumped in the river. Yeah, we, did. we jumped, jumped in the river. Jumped in the river. I mean, it was just it floated was downstream. And uh, you know, we had such a good time. So shout out to No Woodstock. Anyone who wants to come caravan with us up uh, next year, we're already booked for next year. 
Yes. So we'll be there next year. Yeah, the second um, week in August. August 12th, 13th. Uh, like 10-11. 10-11. Um, so yeah, we just had such a great so time. So Sandy and Dave, if you're listening in from Taos, although I already did say that I would be in Taos until the 15th, it looks like I'm leaving a little early again because we're going back to Wichita. We should come right back down. So. We'll make it work. Yeah. Make yeah. it work. Um, but yeah, so we've got, um, we have unfortunately had to cancel our, we were going to go to the Pacific Northwest this weekend and play Oregon, Washington, Vancouver, and Kelowna. Kelowna, Kelowna sorry. Yeah, we found out about that. Kelowna is how you actually say it. Um, uh, we don't have a van yet that yeah, we, we can get there a van, for a reasonable and cost. Any, any van that we buy on Craigslist for two grand, we don't necessarily trust to get us a thousand miles out there and then two thousand miles back to Wisconsin. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. we made we we made the really hard call of canceling those four shows. We will get up there. We just it, it was not easy. Like particularly those four shows because oh. we had such a good time. You know, we always have a good time at those venues. Yep. So we you know it was a real bummer have to do that but, but we, we did felt, it more for our sanity and well we felt like we had to call him today i mean it's yeah. monday but uh we felt like you know once we got back into casper from ten sleep which was you know a three hour drive down through by the way we went through wind river canyon oh isn't that the coolest wow thing? What wyoming, a wyoming place. is a cool state you know we sometimes forget about it but remember it's got it's got that huge volcano underneath it so you've got hot, hot springs, springs and cool springs. and cool rock formations throughout the entire state yeah we went so it, it's been really cool we went the back way around from ten sleep down um on the way up, we went up right up I-25 from Casper up towards Sheridan and then turned left and went over the Bighorns and went into Tent Sleep. But on the way back, we went out the other side, west and south, and went through this town called Thermopolis. Thermopolis. Thermopolis, which has got, you know, thermal hot springs everywhere. Speed goats. Looking. Speed goats. And speed goats, oh, they're, they're all laying down. Tired they're speed chilling. goats. They're chilling. It's hot out. Yeah, we... Um, in, in Ten Sleep, they had Ten Sleep Brewery, which is one of the sponsors. Uh, which was delicious. Yeah, they had um, fantastic beer at the festival. They had a beer tent at the festival, and they had a beer called Speed Goat, which oh, is named like after a, the antelope. It was antelope. like a light lager. It was perfect. Yeah, it was a it perfect, perfect summer beer. for the sun. And, and the guy who served it to us said, well, watch out, though. You know, two of those Speed Goats, and you're, you're going to feel it. And I felt it after like one and a quarter. So yeah, it was definitely high ABV or yeah, high speed, alcohol. Content. Speed goat is the local name for antelope. So we've been just because we really like goats. So every time we've been seeing antelope on the side of the road, we're like speed goat. Speed goat. Yeah, speed there's goat. antelope everywhere up here this year. They're, they're just everywhere. They're right by the side of the road. Yeah. So deer and antelope have this unique ability where they have. A bajillion acres. At least maybe two bajillion. Two bajillion acres of the entire state of Wyoming filled with grass yeah. and farmland yeah. and grazing pastures. And they all choose to go right next to the road. Yeah, and eat like the tender little cropped, you know, dry grasses that the lawnmower cut along yeah, right? the side of the highway. It's like, come on, can't you just eat the tall grass that's just another foot away from the highway? Yeah, no, I have to they eat have the stuff to that you right there, right by the highway. So yeah, we've seen quite a number of um, of sleeping speed goats. Uh, now let's say they're sleeping by the side of the highway, all up and down here. Apparently, some semi has put several of them to sleep all along the road here. But so that's kind of scary. But that was okay. Yeah, well, especially we, after the prairie dog incident, we've been describing it to people who live here, and they're just like, "Yeah, you don't, you don't swerve. You don't swerve at seventy-five miles an hour, yeah, you and just expect hit your it. axles to live. You yeah, just of course not. I mean, prairie dog. You know, an antelope will do more damage than a prairie dog. But seriously, the next fucking prairie dog I see, like I'm hitting the gas. Yeah, that that prairie dog's gonna, he's gonna be sorry he lifted his head up. Now we've learned our lesson. It was gonna be a, about a thousand dollars. Drive back, drive back down, find that prairie dog. It was going to be about a thousand dollars estimated, and they didn't have any of the parts. In fact, the spindle part for the for the axle, the guy said, doesn't exist, and so they're trying to find a replacement part for Rosalita's axle. So yeah. Oh, we not to mention the fact that when the tow truck dropped it off, the key got stuck in the ignition again. again. Well, yeah. Rosalia, she's been she's she's been giving us she's giving us a sign. She yeah, she raised she's her hand, done. she goes, You guys really you gotta go on without me. It was really fun. 
I loved having you inside me all those times. Although, you know, I mean, you know, we got we got a year and a half out of her. We've, we've been all over the country. 100,000 miles. All over the country. Yeah. We're and, you know, and corners. we've had sex all over all the, up country the country Every in that van. So it, you 27 know, got... 28 states now of, and counting. Oh, really? Nice. Yes. I mean, and that's just the shows. I don't know how many oh. we had sex in. I mean, it's probably more. I mean, and then only 18 months. That's a pretty good run. That's pretty I think good. That, yeah, that's pretty good. So, that's been the, the, the tale, the Ballad of Rosalita. The Ballad I, of Rosalita. I, we need to write the Ballad of Rosalita that. and the Prairie Dog. That's what it does. Yeah. Murdered by a Prairie Dog. Death by Prairie Dog. Death by Prairie Dog. So, yeah. Uh, so, that's where we are. We hope wherever you are that you are enjoying. Um, hopefully, there has not been a Nazi rally in your town. Oh, yeah. So we hope that you're enjoying at least a little bit of peace and quiet. Yep, um, yep. Fight the power. Keep fighting the power. Yeah, just just smash that shit. Just, yep. I mean, just nip it in the butt. Just You just can't take... There was a great thing on Facebook of, like, these two superheroes were texting each other, and one had been a, had been frozen for the last 30 years, 40 oh, years, America. 50 years, yeah. And he says, what happened while I was frozen that suddenly... It's not right to punch Nazis, and then, the, and then by the time you get to the end of this, you know, the they're going back and forth. It's like, no, it's it's always the right time to punch Nazis. There's no wrong time. Even if you've been frozen for 50 years, you should still punch Nazis. So and uh, as and as a as a uh, as a bisexual Jewish woman, um, yes, I hereby grant you any permission you want to <laughs> do whatever you want to Nazis. Just punch really, them. just punch them. <laughs> All right, well, we'll uh, check back in later. Love from I-25. Love our from way to, I-25, somewhere in Wyoming. We're heading off to Cheyenne to check out a, a Nissan van. We're going down into Denver to check out a, another Grand Caravan and a couple other vans we saw. Sarah doesn't want me to buy a Kia, although we've got a Kia on the list. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted, and uh, when we have our... We have our next van in hand. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you from that van cast position. Until then, love from Sugar Still. Love, all the love. Oh.